everyone and welcome to my August favourites. Can you believe we're at the end of August already? It has just flown by at a ridiculous pace. Paste? Pace. What is wrong with me? But anyway, I'm going to show you the products that I have been loving throughout this month. I've got quite a few, so we better get started. The first thing is a body lotion, and this is the Vaseline Coco Radiant Rich Feeling Body Lotion. I've loved the Vaseline body lotions for years. My mum swears by them and she uses them all the time, and I've kind of used every different variation of them. But I think this is my favourite. Um, I feel like something about it kind of makes your skin glow a little bit. I've been using it every morning after I have a shower. Your skin feels really soft, really moisturised, not sticky, you can get dressed straight away and it just really helps your skin feel like it's kind of being nourished without feeling greasy and it just helps your skin look really glowy as well which I love. Really inexpensive and an absolutely great, great body lotion that I would definitely recommend for everyone to go and try. Then we have another body lotion, well it's a body butter, that I've heard a lot of people talk about but I wasn't going to pay full price for it because I love the Body Shop body butters but I think they're really overpriced and I just don't like paying that sort of money for them because I go through them really quickly. But I saw the Persian babe talk about the Nip and Fab Pistachio Sunday and she said that it was similar to the Laura Mercier Pistachio body butter and um, I have gone into Space and K loads of times smelt it and I just kind of think yeah it's amazing but I'm not going to buy it for myself it's a body butter I'll use it really quickly it's too expensive but I did want to try this and then I went into my local savers I think it was and they had it for £2.50 and in boots it's about £10 so definitely go and check out your local savers if you have one because you could get a really really good deal on it but this is just a body butter um it's kind of that weird colour but the scent of this is amazing I wasn't sure if I was going to like it at first, but it just smells gorgeous. It smells like pistachio, pistachio, pistachio ice cream, um, and it just makes your skin feel lovely and you smell lovely. It's great to kind of have a pamper and smother yourself in this and get into clean pajamas. Your skin will feel amazing, and I love this. Then um, an eye cream. I've actually got two eye products to mention here, but I'll mention the first one. This is the I think they're called Lou de Provence Serum de. I don't know, I care with organic argan oil anyway. Um, but this is their eye cream and it comes in this cute little box. And then the eye cream itself comes in this really pretty packaging and I've been using this every night and it really, really helps to kind of de-puff your eyes. Um, you get tons in it, I think it's quite expensive but you do get 30 mils, I'll put the info um, of how much it is and where you can get it from but really really nice and really hydrating. I don't have particularly dry under eyes but this has really helped them. Um, then a hair care product that I've been loving. This is by John Frieda and this is their Dream Curls Enhancing Oil and as you can see it's kind of like the duo sort of um, texture where you kind of have an oil and then it's like a serum texture. It smells really really good it's got like a kind of florally scent, really lovely. And I just kind of put a little bit on my hair when I'm wearing it curly, I'm wearing it straight today just because I have got a really busy few days ahead of me and I don't want to have to worry about washing my hair every night. But really like this, will definitely recommend you try this if you've got curly hair, it just helps to kind of add a little bit more definition and hold and really nice. Then a fragrance. This is the fragrance that I have been wearing all month and this is Honey by Marc Jacobs. The bottle of this is just beyond cuteness, but um, I have had this on all month, I'm wearing it today, I can kind of smell myself and it smells lovely, but it's very kind of floral and fresh and it doesn't smell anything like honey, so um, I've done a full review of this on my blog which I'll link in the down bar, but definitely go and check that out because it's a really really nice fragrance and great if you like something quite subtle. Then I've also got a shower gel here and um, this is a little bit of a treat shower gel, this is the Aromatherapy Associates Revive Body Wash. And it is expensive for a shower gel, but it's a nice treat. It's like you're kind of having a shower in a spa. It's got that lovely kind of spa scent. The packaging's really nice, and I definitely think that it's worth a splurge if you want to treat yourself really nice. And it's wet because I have had it in my shower, so I'm going to put it back in there now. Then um, the other eye care product that I have got that I've been really, really liking is this Heal Gel Eye, and it says that it lifts, brightens, and revives. I've done a full review of this on my blog. It doesn't lift your eye area, um, but it's a great, great eye cream to use as a base for your concealer, and I like using an eye cream in the morning, but a lot of them can be quite heavy. They can cause your mascara to smudge. 
this doesn't, this is amazing, it just great, it creates a lovely base because it's kind of got that almost silicone like texture and it just works absolutely amazingly. I would really, really, really recommend this if you just need a little bit of hydration, you don't want anything that's too much, but you just want something to kind of hydrate your eye area, this is great. Um, and then we have a fake tan, which I have been loving, and I'm not going to talk about this too much because I'm going to do a full review of it next week. But this is the Coco Brown One Hour Tanning Mousse. Fantastic stuff, really natural, develops in three hours, and a great kind of different tanning product. Um, and then I've got two makeup products, both by the MUA for... Um, one Direction for MUA line, and um, I've done a full review of this again, so I will link that in the down bar. But this is the nail polish in Little Things Fuchsia Frenzy, really pretty, lasted really nicely. And then this is the What Makes You Beautiful cheek tint, which I have used non stop all month. I love it, I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. Absolutely amazing product, best three pounds I've ever spent. And then for my random favourites, I've kind of got a random favourite and a YouTuber favourite as well to recommend. My random favourite is A Game of Thrones, the book. Um, I'm reading the first one, I'm kind of this far into it. I really like it. Um, it is similar to the programme, but not at the same time. I've been really, really enjoying reading this. And I definitely think that it's worth um, a read if you like the series, or even if you just like kind of fantasy books, they're really, really good. And then my favourite YouTuber is someone I discovered recently, and she's a Canadian YouTuber who lives in Israel, so she's kind of got a soft spot in my heart already just for that reason. But she is called Makeup by ABW, I think, or AWB. I'll put um, an annotation if I'm wrong, but I'm going to link her videos in the down bar because she's fantastic. Go subscribe to her, tell her that I sent you. She's great, you'll love her videos, and she's just really cheery and lovely to watch so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have got any favorites that you've been loving this month or favorite youtubers that you love i would love to um, get your recommendations and i will see you all in my next video bye